Welcome to Moggy Boxcraft. I'm Debra and welcome back to my greenhouse and garden. Today's video is going to be a little update on how the garden and greenhouse are getting on and what I plan to direct so later on in April after our last frost dates. Unfortunately we've had quite unseasonal, well not really that unseasonal, it is Scotland after all, but we've had quite a lot of frost and snow over the last couple of weeks. So I took everything inside the greenhouse, or as much things as I could inside the greenhouse to try and protect them from the snow, and there they have stayed until now. It is still getting quite cold at night, but the days are lovely and the greenhouse is lovely and warm. The garden hasn't seen any snow for a few days, so fingers crossed that continues. So I've gone ahead and planted up a few things that I'll show you later as I'm going around the garden. But first, let's get into what I've been growing and planting and repotting. Here's how the greenhouse is looking. These are all the seedlings and plants I've been growing in the greenhouse, so I think we'll start with them. First we've got the jalapenos, the chilies, the aubergine and the peppers. These were planted on the 8th of February and these are the leftover seedlings from my grow light experiment. Then we've got the butternut squash and the pumpkins. These were planted on the 3rd of March. I've gone ahead and planted a few of them at the top of that bed they are. I know it's still a tiny bit early. I've kept these ones in the greenhouse just in case those ones die or don't make it and then I'll have these as spares. These are the seeds that were planted on the 20th of March. I've rejigged these a little bit. These are all the peas in here, they're growing like wild. So I've got seed safe peas and just regular out the packet peas in there. We've got our plant the theatre fragrant flower kit growing there. Our confetti garden in here. Although the larkspur isn't growing so I might plant some more of them in here and see if I can get them to grow. These are the climbing French beans. So I've had two come up in this one and one in here. They're doing pretty good. I know I need to like repot them but these two have grown really well in this one. They're pretty sturdy plants actually. I'll give them a little while longer in the greenhouse and I'll plant them up. So down here we've got strawberry temptation and as you can see nothing has grown. So I've ended up replanting a few of these seeds into these trays today and hopefully something will grow. Out of the seeds I planted on the 20th of March, I have repotted the Shiraz Munch too in that container down there. Again, maybe a little bit too early, but hey ho. And also down here I've planted out the courgettes because they were just getting really far too big for in these trays and really need to be repotted. And then these are the seeds I planted on the 24th of March. Starting from left to right, we've got Glardia. Red Plume, Petunia Storm Lavender, Nasturgeums, Baby Rose, Marigold, French Dainty Marinette, Marinette? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've got a few of these growing. Then I've got some more Nasturgeums. These are ones I seed saved. So far I've only got one growing here. Then we've got some Winter Pansies. Now I know it's far too early to be planting these, but I thought I'd give them a try. And actually there is a few growing, you can see here. And then finally on the end I've got some Lobelias, Cascade Blue and Mrs Calibran. Yeah, quite a lot of them grown in there. They're on the annuals so yeah I thought I'd just use up the seeds. And then on the other side, from left to right, I've got Lemon Bam, one tiny seedling. And I've got some strawberry sticks. I thought they looked really cool to try and grow. Got a few little seeds popping up. Then we've got the loofahs. Oh, I'm so excited to try and grow these. As you can see, there's a few empty ones in here because they've grown quite well. So I have actually potted them up in the greenhouse and I'll show you them a little bit later. This one's not doing the best and this one hasn't sprouted. But the other two look great and well, I'll show you them in a wee minute. And then in this very empty row here next to the loofahs, we've got tomato honeycomb. So I thought I would try a new variety of tomato this year. And so far, nothing is growing, but you know, we'll keep waiting and hoping for the best. Next, we've got this little row here. I've just planted these today. And these are Brussels sprouts red ball. Just look at the color of that. Oh, I really, really cannot wait to see how these look when they grow. And then up in the end here, I've got some Brussels sprouts Groninger. I do have a couple of really leggy ones. So I planted some extra seeds that you can see popping up here. They're all growing really well, so hopefully these will be the ones I plant out. 
So I think these ones are just a little bit too laggy. And as a bit of a wild card this year, I thought I would try and grow melon again. I've just planted these today. It's the 14th of April today. So I've just planted these in the house under a heat mat and grow light. So we'll see how they get on in a couple of weeks. And let's take a look at the rest of the greenhouse. Let's start down here with these two empty planters. These are hopefully going to be climbing French beans and tomatoes when they're big enough to repot into here. Then we've got the cucumbers. They've not done a whole lot since they've been planted. This one hasn't survived, unfortunately. And unfortunately, I haven't got another cucumber seedling to replace it, so never mind. There'll only be two cucumbers in this planter as long as those two survive. These are the Seed Save Moneymaker tomatoes, and they're doing pretty good considering it's been so cold lately. And these Moneymaker tomatoes are the ones that are just out the packet and not seed saved. And again, they're doing okay. Tiny bit smaller, but I'm holding out some hope. Next we've got the loofah. This is the first time I've ever tried to grow a loofah plant. So these seedlings had grown pretty big for the tree they were in. So I've just replanted these today. Yeah, I think they're growing really well. So I've just popped them in here, watered them in. So hopefully we'll see in the next few days if they survive. And down here we've got our sun gold tomatoes. So these are the sun saved money maker tomatoes. And I am really shocked by this. So I don't know if you've seen a few videos ago. I talked about that they were F1s. So usually you can't seed save from F1 plants apparently but here we are we have tomato plants and they're growing so I've popped these in the planters today again we'll wait and see if they take and hopefully they'll survive but pretty chuffed with them and these are the sun gold tomatoes I've just grown directly at the packet they seem to be pretty happy at the bottom of the greenhouse I've got the sweet corn I planted this ones these ones and these ones a couple of weeks ago the one that was down here had been eaten so I've replaced that and I've planted up these ones and these ones today and I've still got a couple of extra ones just in case we have any more failures hopefully they'll all be happy there uh, we'll see in a few days if they settle in okay down here was the asparagus I've taken the decision to replant that outside into this bed here so we'll get onto that in a wee minute eh? but first this is the beetroot again doing pretty good after I planted that last autumn autumn two king carrots again quite surprising these are grown so well in the greenhouse but we'll see in a couple more months or so when they're ready to harvest how they get on and the little gem lettuce pretty impressed with how this is doing I really need to harvest this and eat some of this or maybe put it outside now that the weather isn't quite so cold and I think lastly in the greenhouse we've got the avocado well the other avocado I've gotten rid of because it's definitely dead and I can pretty much guarantee this one is not going to survive either I thought there was a tiny growth just down there but I'm not so convinced I'll leave it in the greenhouse for a little while and see if anything happens or if it recuperates but looking at this really dark area here I think we can guarantee that it's not going to make it. I'm pretty sure garden is mostly just hoping for the best, but what can you do? So let's head outside and see what the rest of the garden is looking like and the raised beds. Let's start down here in the first raised beds. These are all the set onions I planted last October. They seem to be doing okay at the moment, as far as I can tell. Then at the bottom of this bed here, and I've done a lot of planting today. now. It's probably a little bit dubious to plant these out just yet in my area because of the last frost dates, but I've taken a risk. So this row we've got Defender courgettes and we've got Virginia 3 courgettes. Up here we've got some little gem ice lettuce that I planted last year. And then we've got a butternut squash early here. We've got a zombie pumpkin and a sugar pumpkin. Hopefully as the pumpkins grow, they'll cascade down onto the cold frame here and spread out nicely. Yeah, let's hope for the best there. <laughs> then we've got the garlic growing quite happily. And then under the mesh protector box, I've got the cauliflower. So I've got four Romasco cauliflowers planted in here. This one I planted a little while ago. It does keep getting eaten by something, but uh, <laughs> I've sprinkled down some duff down to hopefully stop that. And I've planted the other three today. And this is where I've planted the asparagus a row of the asparagus. I think just having it in the greenhouse it's, it's just a little bit too hot and in a pot isn't really going to work long term. So I thought if I planted it in here this could be a long term home for it because I know it takes a while to establish so I guess we'll wait and see how that goes. 
And finally, we've got this bed. So these are carrots I still have to harvest from last year. We've got set onions, charlotte potatoes, and then rooster potatoes. I am starting to see the odd little set onion pop up here. Not sure I see any movement from any of the potatoes growing. No, I don't think I see anything as yet. Flowers are coming along nicely. This black planter's in the shadiest part of our garden is uh, definitely taking a hit. Oh, hello little bird. Better not be pecking at my Himalayan poppy. What are you doing, mate? Excuse me. You're very cute and round. Well, I'll leave him to it. Anyway, back to the planter of flowers. I think because this area is just so shady, these just don't want to flower just that quickly. I have added some little baby daffodils I was given as a gift. So hopefully they should be nice in years to come. Okay, they're just dying off a little bit now. Everything's definitely starting to sprout and come back to life though, which is lovely. Oh yes, and in here I've planted the seed saved Shiraz Monge too. So hopefully that'll be a nice place for it to grow up. The pear tree is just about to burst into life, which is lovely. The apple tree is not far behind actually. And these are my buckets of potatoes. Oh yes, can you see that down there? Charlotte potatoes starting to sprout. I'm going to dump some more soil on top of this. You can see a little bit of potato sprouting there. So I'll get some more soil dumped on top of them. And this is our entwined pear trees. They are really coming to life now. That's lovely, isn't it? I've still not cut the grass yet for the first time this year. I have put down some feed for it, but that's about the height of it. I've watered it a few times too, but ugh, I might give that a cut for the first time in a few weeks. And the hedge is great now it's been cut. It's let in loads more light. Usually it comes right up to here, the shadow. So that end bed is getting way more light than it used to. Really pleased with that. So that's how the garden and the raised beds are looking. And the red currant is really coming into life too. Can you see this? I can't believe this is already starting to flower. Seems really early on for it, but not going to complain. Quite happy about that. Looking forward to seeing some berries on it. And on our deck and table, we've got some flowers and some strawberries. These irises flowered about a month ago, so they're already gone. Oh, and I think these have closed up now, the little beauties, but these are such gorgeous little flowers. Then we've got tulips, tall variety. I have no idea what kind of tulip this is. Doesn't really look like the rest of these tulips, but they're very beautiful. And then I got myself some new lavender, because who doesn't like lavender in the garden? And looking forward to this stuff flowering again, Dianthus Flutterburst. What a great name for a plant. So hopefully this will come back to life and start flowering later on in the year. I also went ahead and got myself some new strawberries. Oh god, they're flowering already. So we've got honey strawberries, symphony strawberries, El Santa strawberries. So I've specifically picked these because I want to be able to produce more strawberry plants from these and they all flower and produce strawberries at slightly different times of the year so we've got spring, summer and autumn I'm presuming these are the ones <laughs> these are the first ones, these must be early yeah so we've got early summer and they are already flowering, crazy symphony, what are they? they're July and August El Santa, oh they're June to July so these ones should flower Midsummer, and these ones will flower in autumn. I'm planning to make some drain pipe planters for these and growing them on. I'll also be replacing my strawberry plants, hopefully with these, or the ones I'm growing in the greenhouse. Everything's coming on really quite well in the greenhouse and garden, as long as we don't have any more snow and ice, which is quite probable or likely because in my area, the last frost dates are like end of April, start of May, but I'm crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. I feel like I say that a lot. I feel like that's what gardening is though, just hoping for the best and planning for the worst. It's probably exactly what it is. I do have some seeds that I will be waiting to plant until the end of April, start of May because I don't want to take any chances. So when the Brussels sprouts are ready to plant out, hopefully that'll be the end of April, start of May. I'm also gonna be planting some parsnips alongside them. So the middle bed will be sort of my winter veg sort of area. These are the parsnips I'm going to be trying to grow this year. Half long whites. Let's hope we have more success this year than we did last year. I'll also be direct sowing some beetroot. These are the ones I'm going to grow. So we've got rainbow mix, one I can't pronounce, 
And Boultree beetroot. Boultree is definitely a go-to beetroot. It's always been a really great success in my garden. I've had mixed results with the rainbow beetroot in the past. And this one I can't pronounce, I've never tried before. So looking forward to see what this is like. I've also got a selection of carrots. We've got Old Faithful Autumn Two King Carrots. These are always great in the garden. Occasionally get the odd wonky carrot, but this is definitely a staple in my garden. I would highly recommend this if you've grown carrots for the first time and you want a decent crop. And two new types of carrot I'm going to try growing is Purple Haze, a purple carrot, and Samurai, a bright red carrot. Never even seen these ones before, but they look good. <laughs> It's a sweeter than normal carrot due to larger sugary colour. Hmm. Stays red pink after cooking, so looking forward to that. And then we've got purple haze. Now, I have tried growing purple carrots before with very little success. So this year, I plan to plant these out a little bit later than I normally would. So maybe May into June, I might try planting these and seeing if I get any better results. The purple carrots I've tried before bolted really quickly and grew to absolutely nothing, so maybe if I leave it later in the year it'll be better? We'll just have to wait and find out. And lastly, I plan to plant out some lettuce. So we've got salad and lettuce and little gem lettuce. I love little gem lettuce. It's one of the best ones I've tried growing in the garden. I have a much higher success rate with this than I've tried with anything else. I'm not super keen on round lettuce and that sort of leafy leafy sa like salad leaves. I like things like iceberg lettuce, sort of more crisper lettuces. Does that make sense? I hope so. I seen this salad in lettuce and I thought, oh, it is an iceberg variety of lettuce. So let's try this and see if we get any good results this year. The lettuce I'm just going to be planting at random throughout the year so I always have like a scattering of them growing because you can never have enough lettuce, right? And summer is coming. Think of all the salads and barbecues and such like. Essentials. So I guess we will see in a few weeks if everything survives that I've planted out in the raised beds today and everything I've planted up. Still a little bit on the cold side but sometimes you just got to take a leap of gardening faith, don't you? I'll keep telling myself that. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Of course subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Beautiful dog angel. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> okay, where's that cat gone? Come here, you better not be harassing the birds, is he? Mm -hmm. Gonna have to go make a cup of coffee and start editing this video. And hope to the gardening gods that everything survives. Oh, I really hope everything survives. I know I'm taking such a risk planting it up. Oh, he's back. The cat is back. Prowling the garden. That's what they do. You get him just shimmying around. Living his best life. As is the seagulls. <laughs>